This tutorial will be showing you how to change your font in Skate 3. As you can see, I have changed it from the normal font, and I've themed it after the Mirror's Edge font. The tools you need are the GUI Export Tool, the Texture Toolkit, and of course, the Font Tool. The tools in the Google Drive are password protected, so make sure to know what these passwords are. The Font Tool can only be found in Extras in the modding server, so you might as well join it. Oh, and you're going to need Paint.net. All this will be in the description down below to download. The problem with the font that I'm using now is that the capital letters are the exact same size as the smaller letters. Thus why the top of the menu looks really weird. So now I'm going to choose a font where you can tell the difference between capitals and not capitals. So I'm going with the Avengers font. Download the font and install it. And now we make our way to the GUI export tool to extract the fonts. You hit on WinBig GUI and head over to your game. You don't know what your game is, follow this picture. You click on game, user directory, data, and then big. And what we're looking for, miskboot.big, and hit open. It'll then open up another window, and your fonts will be in FE, and then fonts. Now you make your way to your font folder, where you click on BM font 64. This is where you will create your fonts. Once you're in, make sure to hit control A, so you highlight all the text. Then on the top left, you hit options and go to font settings. Here is where you could choose your font. I chose the Avengers font, so there it is. And then you can choose your size. The typical size you really want to go for is 40. So once you've done that, hit OK. Now click on options again and head to export options. By default, the spacing should be 0, 0. And if I hit V, there is the visualization of the text. Now I like to have it more spaced out so we know what size it is when we compare it to the original. So I set that to 20 and 20, and immediately we can tell the difference in spacing. You also want to set the size to 512 by 512. And at the bottom, you want to set it to these settings. Now back to options and hit save bitmap. And you want to name it Futura, because you're going to be renaming these files the exact same ones that are in the files of the game. On the left of the screen, you see that's where we exported the Skate 3 fonts. There's one called Overprint, and that is the bigger font. So you want to go back into font settings and change the size to 55. Pulling up the visualizer, you can see it is bigger than last time. Once you've done that, you can hit Save Bitmap again. But this time we're naming it Futura Overprint. Now in the font folder, you can see it made a DDS and a .fnt. Looking at the export of Misc Boot, we are going to be replacing those RPS3 files. So, open up your Texture Toolkit and click on PSG Tool. And now we're going to grab all the RPS3 files and drag it in there. You do not need a drag debug, you'll never see that in game. Once you've dragged it in, you then hit the DDS button. Then in the Texture Toolkit folder, there should be a folder called DDS. And this is where we're going to change those DDSs. Three of these DDSs are the same. That is Glow, Heavy, and Shadow. And Overprint is the bigger one out of the four. So let's start with Heavy first. Open up the DDS in Paint.net. Then you grab your Futura underscore zero and overlay it. And here is where I like to find out if it's the right size. I go to Adjustments and Invert Colors. Now I try to line up one letter with the other and see if it matches the same height. And it does, so we're good. And if it doesn't, you have to re-export it with the font tool. Do not resize it. So I put it back into its original place, unvert the colors to make it white, and then we hit Save As, and we want to replace it. And here are the settings you want to use. Pause the video to make sure you have the right settings. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with the Glow DDS. Open it up, overlay our new texture, save as, and overwrite it. Do it again for the third time for shadow, overwrite it, and save as. Now for overprint, you're going to want to drag the overprint DDS, save it, and overwrite that. Now we want to turn these FNT files into something Skate 3 can read. So you click on skatefont.exe, and we have to change each one differently. So I'll choose Futura, hit save, open it up again, hit Futura overprint, and hit save again. Now we have these BMP files. Now you want to copy the regular Futura twice, so you have three copies. Going back to the fonts folder in the GUI export folder, you will see that there are BMP fonts there as well, and you want to rename the ones that you just created with the ones that are in that folder. So I'll copy this name, put it to there, copy this name, put it there, this name, you get the idea. Once you're done, you highlight them all and drag them into the export folder. Yes, you want to replace these. Now we go back to the DDS folder in the Texture Toolkit, highlight all the DDSs, place them in there, and hit the PSG button. Then in the Texture Toolkit folder will be a PSG folder, Then you replace those RPS3 textures with the GUI export textures. Now we go back to the GUI export tool and hit Repack File. You want to make sure you go back to that data folder 
where the GUI export tool is located. Click into the folder and then name it MISC boot and then hit save. Now go back to your games folder and navigate into the big folder that we got the original MISC boot from. In there, you want to create a folder called backup and move that MISC boot into that folder. Then drag the new MISC boot into the big folder. And now we can boot up our game. The splash screen text should change, but this is where errors could happen when it transitions into this EA spinning logo where it might freeze. If that happens, you did something wrong. But if everything goes smoothly, all the text should be changed to the style of the font that you wanted. Oh, and for the overprint, that is only used for one occasion when you want to play party play games, and it tells you the place that you are located.